What's going on, everybody? It's me again, Oh My Rod. How are you all doing? I'm coming at you with another review, and we're continuing with the Death discography. Tonight, we're reviewing their fifth album, Individual Thought Patterns. This album cover is pretty iconic, I think, but it's definitely not my favorite. There's the back. As usual, it's got two discs. But we're only focusing on the first disc with the main songs. I got this off of Amazon, and I think they're still stocked on this album. The first uh, main song that really hit me was uh, probably Overactive Imagination, which is the first song, too. I think uh, Overactive Imagination is a very catchy name for a song. I also enjoyed Nothing Is Everything. Mentally Blind, Individual Thought Patterns, and The Philosopher. I really like The Philosopher. I think that's a very interesting name for a song. So, this album was, like I've said, their fifth album. It's not their final album. We still have a few more to go. Well, two more to go. But this, uh, I think, signaled a big change in their music. And also their logo. Their logo looks a lot different, I think, in this sense, compared to their other ones. I hope you guys can see that. Sorry about the glare. But I like the Grim Reaper Scythe. I don't like the Upside Down Cross. But I do like the little, you know, ghoul guy they got up there. And I, wonder, I often wonder if that maybe was uh, a sign for the later metal band Ghoul. If you guys have heard of Ghoul or not, I don't know, but um, I've heard a few of their songs and they're pretty good. Um, individual thought patterns. You guys want to see the inside? This one's broken, but I want to show you guys. There's Chuck Schnolder right here. He's the lead singer and founder who tragically passed away and 2001 uh, due to cancer. He does the guitar and vocals. We've got Steve DiGornio on bass, Gene Holgan on drums and prop, and Andy LaRocque on guitars. So the band does have uh, a bit of, you know, a change up, but that's normal. And I think uh, Chuck really does a good job of bringing in new people, but also keeping the same death spirit alive. This was not really my favorite album. I really liked um, Human more, but this one, you know, The Philosopher, Overactive Imagination, uh, Nothing Is Everything. Some of the songs were good, like I've stated, but I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not, like, my go-to album of theirs, but, you know, I will listen to it on occasion. Hope you guys are doing well, and God bless.